Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen Outdoor Cooking Series. I'm your host, Nicole Gaffney, and we're here today with St. Luke's University Health Network at Cabela's in Hamburg, Pennsylvania, home of the largest Cabela's store. Now let's go see what makes the great outdoors so great. So we're here today with Chef Patrick Fury and our special guest Jason Umbenhauer of Cabela's. Welcome both of you. Thank you very much. Or I should Thanks say for thank here. you for having me here <laughs> exactly. at our little makeshift outdoor kitchen at Cabela's. <laughs> so what are we working with today? So today we're going to be doing some uh, carnivore grinders um, as well as our 24 inch elliptical pellet grill and our five pound sausage stuffer mm -hmm. and the Camp Chef uh, two burner stove. This is like a top of the line outdoor kitchen we have here. Patrick, mm, what are we making? Yeah. I would say we're going to do some duck sausage and also I have uh, some trout and uh, shrimp sausage. Wow. Um, just so that you know the diversity of like what you can do. Yeah. The sky's the limit of it. So we're going to work on first um, the duck sausage right away. Okay. okay. All right. Well, I can't wait to get started. But first, we're going to go inside and check out this great event that's happening with all the kids. I'm here with Carol Krabs here at Cabela's. Carol, what's everything that's happening right now? What we are doing is we are making pancakes for children. Amazing, I love all of the different stuff that you have here. My favorite is the real maple syrup. None of that flavored corn syrup here. We have the real stuff. Now tell me about the pancake mix. This is Cabela's own pancake mix that we're using. This is Uncle Buck's and what it is, is it is just a pancake mix eggs and milk and what's great about this product is the fact that this is a resealable container and it's mm -hmm. also waterproof nice. which makes it perfect for camping let's flip these pancakes they look like they're ready beautiful they're nice and brown they are and Absolutely. super fluffy <laughs> now let's plate one of these up that could be a hot one perfect pancakes got to be hot too so i'm going to give this a little taste with what i believe to be the tiniest fork i've ever seen <laughs> <laughs> Mm. They're really good. They're so nice and fluffy. They're not dry. They're nice and moist. And they have a, a little scent of vanilla in there, which is just sort of in the background. It's really, really nice. Mm. Great pancakes. Thank good. you so much You're for so making welcome. this for me and chatting with us. You're so welcome. I'm going to go you. check out what the kids are doing. All right, so you guys ready to decorate some pancakes? Yep. Yeah. All right. We've got some maple syrup, berries, bananas, chocolate chips, sprinkles. Go crazy. Have fun. Get started, guys. Yeah, go for it. St. Luke's is, uh, is very invested in the community and teaming with Cabela's is just one example of how St. Luke's partners with our community to create a healthier community. We have an, a, a tremendous selection of cooking products for cooking outdoors, for taking that field to table kind of concept and being able to harvest something and cook it right out at your campsite. And it's one of the things that kind of brings everybody together. I mean, the kitchen's the, the, the heartbeat of any household. The, the outdoor kitchen's the heartbeat of any campsite. Not feeling well? Need to see a doctor now? St. Luke's video visits 24-7. Connect with a doctor online now for all your urgent care needs. From your smartphone, tablet, or computer, it's never been easier for patients to access care. A doctor will be able to assess your health care needs and even send a prescription if necessary, all in one quick session. Download the St. Luke's mobile app from the App Store or Google Play Store. Get ready to reel in your next trophy catch with the latest and best fishing gear. No matter what type of fishing you enjoy, Cabela's offers a large selection of quality and dependable fishing supplies. I'm here with Sean Fry. He's the fishing lead at Cabela's. Now, Sean, there's two different types of fishing typically. We have freshwater and saltwater, and Cabela's is really an expert in both. So tell me about the differences right. in those. Uh, generally, the biggest difference is going to be in your tackle. Um, mm -hmm. You're going to be using generally a lot heavier, a lot longer rods if you're off the beach especially for saltwater as compared to fresh. Mm -hmm. um, your line is going to be different, and your bait selection is going to be different ah, as well. Okay. Well, I live down at the beach, so I'm going to have to make a couple rounds and pick up a few things to take back home with me. Got for a hunt one day, so uh -huh. then uh, we're gonna just break this guy down. And you know, sometimes like with sausages, you always need some fat in there. Oh yeah, um, absolutely. What's great about the duck is that you know you don't need to add like you know if you're using venison, a really really lean uh, animal or something like that. 
you would add some pork. Right. But this has the, we're gonna just grind the, the skin right in there. Everybody loves have, duck fat, right? Absolutely. It gives incredible flavor. Mm -hmm. you know, I do use the legs as well. Okay. okay. So we're just gonna cut it up just so that it'll fit in there. So it grinds a little easier when you cut it into smaller pieces, yeah. right? I learned yeah. that the hard way. <laughs> These are the legs. And there's not quite as much meat on a, a, a duck leg as there is, say, a chicken leg, a turkey leg. Um, no, no, definitely not. They're a lot smaller. One thing about sausages, when you, you know, when you get them together, you really kind of want it to be almost emulsified. Oh, so okay. you want to keep everything really, really cold. So, so it grinds thick. up um, eat a lot it easier kind of, that yeah, way. Yeah, and it also stays together. Right. Well, it's right. no problem staying cold right so now. So always do this outside. <laughs> <and we're... laughs> yeah, so Jason, tell me more about the grinder. The nice thing about it is uh, it's got a stainless steel uh, meat tray, so it won't rust. Patrick gets his hands dirty in there and gets all greasy. Mm -hmm. It's got a nice big flywheel, easily on and off. This guys are half horsepower. It goes all the way up to an, a one and three quarter horsepower. Wow. And depending on how much meat you're going to do, that's what um, the larger you go, the faster it's going to be, and also the, the more capacity it's going to go as well. There's a storage tray in the bottom. Okay. When you're all done, you can store your, your tubes and all your accessories that go with it. That's very helpful. As well as the plates. Mm -hmm. There's a 10 millimeter and a 4 millimeter that come with it. So if you want a little bit finer, you can throw the four on there and get a little bit finer cut meat. And it comes with some other accessories as well, correct? Uh, yep, it uh, has uh, two sausage tubes as well. And the nice thing about it too is there's a, a gel pack that goes in the freezer to keep the, uh, the neck of it cool. So when you're doing a lot of meat, it won't heat up, which is what you don't want of when you're course, grinding meat. Of right, because so. the motor will make it yep. heat up, I guess. Cool. I can't so, get over how dark this duck meat is. It's really beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like um, this is kind of more of like a wild duck. Exactly. You know? So it's um, and you can you know get duck at the supermarket, but I mm -hmm. think most people that are using this, really want absolutely, to get the wild yeah. If they're shopping at Cabela's anyway. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So uh, this is almost the end. So simultaneously, I'm going to kind of work on the spe the spices with this as okay. it's going. So I like um, smoked paprika, regular paprika, mm -hmm. curry, ginger, um, some actually fresh. Some really unique spices for sausage, mm -hmm. you have to say. Yeah, and then with this, actually, I like to use. Uh, the cherries themselves, but I actually mm -hmm. like to um, mix it with a half of the. Um, I like I like rye whiskey, so I nice. like to do half rye whiskey and then half um, water and marinate. So those. they just kind of macerate a little bit, exactly. absorb that flavor. Exactly, I love just it. Just so that they're not totally dry, because we like we like their uh, our sausage meat to be actually a little wet. Okay. Yeah. Because that's going to keep it really moist when you mm -hmm. cook it, right? Yeah. Because it all stays within the casing. Exactly. It's very exactly. convenient. Mm -hmm. Nice. And you're going to make something for us today too as well, correct? I am. Okay. Um, what do you got for us? Some, uh, some smoked trout, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and it goes right into the smoker. Again, 225, about two hours. And what are you working on here, Jason? This is uh, pheasant breast. Nice. Uh, took a little bit of orange juice and a little bit of zest in there, a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. So that makes a nice little marinade. Yep. Great. And then Set our smoker to 225. And just throw it on the racks there, and you know, it'll take about two and a half, two hours. Um, you'll want to check it. You know, internal temperature about 165. Okay. Nice thing about a smoker is you can kind of set it and forget it. Uh, you'll just have to I check it. one hour. Uh, you'll just refill with some wood chips, and then you're good okay. to go. And what kind of wood chips would you recommend for that? We're using apple today. Um, that's my favorite. If you want a little bit more of a smoky flavor, um, the hickory or uh, mesquite will give you more of that smoked flavor. So. OK, so what do we have working next? Um, so we have some mushrooms <laughs> mm -hmm. and some wild rice that's going to go along with our, with our pheasant. OK. And then uh, we're going to do some smoked asparagus. That sounds incredible. I know, I'm assuming the asparagus take a little bit less time to cook. Yeah, that's going to take about 90 minutes. About the same temperature, uh, about 225. Nice. Never had smoked asparagus before. I'm really excited to try these. The benefits of smoking, as far as cooking, allows you to flavor food without the addition of uh, fat or unnecessary salt. There are leaner types of meats that you can smoke, such as fish, poultry and seafood, as well as um, smoking vegetables is a delicious way to flavor the vegetables without all that added fat. Stay tuned for more of The Chef's Kitchen. Ramp up your outdoor adventures with Cabela's. With expert advice, tips, and the latest gear innovations, Cabela's outfitters and pro staff will help make your experience in the great outdoors unforgettable.
I'm here with Jeff Hartman. He's camp lead here at Cabela's. Now, forget about hot dogs and hamburgers. You guys have a really impressive selection of outdoor cooking equipment. Tell me That's about That's correct. It. Yes, we do. We pretty much can suit every sportsman for all their needs, whether it be taking their game home or actually out in the field if they're camping out of a tent or their motorhome. We can take care of them anyway. Amazing. So tell me about some of the specific cooking equipment you guys carry. It's for the sportsman that has harvested game, we've got a full line of processing equipment from grinders wow. all the way down. Uh, and it will pretty much take care of every need for them to process their game, make sausage, jerky. That's incredible. Uh, we carry a line of smokers so they can, again, process their own game, smoke their own meat. Uh, we also have the, one of the newest things out is the smoker grills. And they use pellets, the pellet smoker, so you can get the best yes. of both worlds. You can grill in your backyard with a hamburger, hot dog, whatever you'd like to do. You can use your game, you can bake in them so they pretty much run the, you know, across the board anything you'd like to make in the backyard. And they work off of those little pellets. Yeah, so they're tiny pellets, them. similar to the pellets they use to heat homes, except ah. these smell a lot better. Nice. <laughs> and in addition to the cooking equipment, you guys have a full line of all the latest camping gear as well. Tell me about that. We do. We carry everything that you would need to get out there. For any, again, anything from motorhome camping right down to camping out of your backpack. That's incredible. So really, Cabela's is the place to come if you're looking for any kind of outdoor cooking equipment, camping equipment, and so much more. And now it looks like you're starting to fill the sausage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you have, is this a natural casing? Natural casing, mm -hmm. it is. Uh, and when you do get natural casings, there's going to be a little bit of, um, they're going to be cured with salt. So okay. you got to give, give them a little good rinse. Oh, that's a really good tip. Mm -hmm. And also, if they're, uh, make sure that this has a good amount of uh, uh, liquid on them. Once you get this in, you'll, as you notice that there's a, um, there's a little valve in there as well, which mm -hmm. actually helps it from uh, relieving the, the amount of pressure inside there. Okay. So it doesn't just blow up. So the you sausage is coming right up? Yeah, thank you. So also what I do with the sausage is like, mm -hmm. I'll hold it here and kind of let it build up and then slowly kind of t temper how much so the meat's going in there. Okay. So it doesn't get... So there's a real technique to this. Yeah, so you want to kind of hold this and let it fill. Mm -hmm. And then from there... Now, can you overstuff it? Is that something you have Pretty to watch much, out for? Not really. No? I mean, like, unless you hold this too tight here. Okay. Mm-hmm. And you know, this also, when you get this home, you know, you might want to get a big cutting board and you can just put some uh, screws in there. Mm. And then you, and so then it's you a can like, sturdy. yeah, absolutely. So there okay. we go. Okay, that looks great. Yep, so we got our sausages. Now, do you twist it? I, I actually cook them like whole, depending on how I'm going to use them. But now, does this have so to over. rest or age at all, or can you cook it right? No, you can cook it right, right away. From here. Yeah, okay, perfect. you can. So, what do we have next? All right, so the next thing is we're going to make a little garnish for. Um, this actually sausage itself. Okay. Because I got some of this um, on the grill inside. I really like fennel uh, with I love especially fennel. pretty much any kind of sausage, mm -hmm. so it's great. So I'm just going to cut them up into wedges. Basically, just cooking on a grill, you mm -hmm. know, with a sausage, and we can do our entire meal on the grill. We don't I love have to it. switch back and forth. Yep. So just coat the pan with a little bit of olive oil. Okay. Then we'll take these, kind of slide them in. So you're almost going to like pan roast it in the grill. Yep. Pan roast it all the way through. We're going to get it a little bit hot. The pan's going to be hot. And we're going to shingle it really nice. Because we're going to actually use the pan as a presentation and kind of serve it family oh, style. Oh, nice. So that's why you're making sure you pay yep. close attention to how the fennel exactly. looks in there. <laughs> exactly. A little fancy in there. Last thing, uh, pretty simple across the board. Just a little bit of time. Okay. What's nice with this is you can just actually do really thin slices because it's going to kind of cook slowly. And then it's going to mm. be like a little roasted garlic. So Yum. I don't mind that they're large. And I mean, this is outdoor cooking, right? This isn't fine oh, no. dining yeah. today. So it's nice mm -hmm. to have things a little it's bit actually, more rustic. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be great. Make sure it's what do you coated. think of the recipe, Jason? Looks fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of salt and pepper. And then we're going to just throw it into the oven. Right. And this grill is roaring. Right. So here we got the um, roasted fennel. Oh, that looks incredible. And then we wow. have our duck sausage popped on the grill. That looks amazing. And then we're, so wow. it's kind of like. You can see those little pieces of cherry in there. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. It's taking all of my willpower right now <laughs> just to not grab one of those and eat it. It smells great. You can really smell all the herbs mm -hmm. and the, the different spices that you put in there, the curry and that smoked paprika. Yeah, there's a lot going on. What a nice presentation, I mean. Who goes camping and presents their food this nicely? Patrick Fury, that's who. <laughs> that looks great. When it comes to sausage, two of the examples, we're using lower fat, healthier types of protein, such as um, poultry and fish. So
So that gives you an alternative and a healthier type of um, sausage. The side items, um, the potatoes, fennel, and the roasted tomatoes are some examples of how to pair these items with healthier choices, made in a way that is um, healthier and more nutritious. Stay tuned for more of The Chef's Kitchen. Get geared up this hunting season with your official Cabela's hunting equipment. Cabela's Outfitters and Pro Staff live this life. They offer expert advice on the best use of hunting supplies as well as strategies to help make your hunting trip successful. I'm here with Michael Curry. He's one of the managers here at Cabela's. We're here in the hunting department and you guys have an incredible selection of hunting gear and equipment. Tell me a little bit about it. Yes, we have um, whatever um, anybody would ever need from hunting small game all the way up to the largest game um, that's offered in the United States. So. Fantastic. And you're a really avid hunter yourself. You're actually responsible for the pheasant and the duck that we prepared in our cooking segment today. So tell me about how that came about. I um, just recently came back from a trip out North Dakota where we went out duck hunting and pheasant hunting. Sounds really fun. Yes, it was. Now, speaking of duck hunting, you've got some duck calls with you here. They're two different types. I know nothing about this, so explain no. them to me. So these uh, calls are made by Echo Calls. Uh -huh. um, one is a single reed duck call, all right, and the other one is a double reed, which has double reeds. The uh, single reed is a little bit more advanced, which is really designated to capture the attention of a duck as it's passing by. So if you want, <laughs> where the double reed would end up getting that duckier sound, so you get that close duckier. in as they cup in, come in. <laughs> so you get a raspier tone. So one is a clear tone to gather their attention, and then one is a raspy tone to get them to come in closer to you. Yeah. Well, thanks for telling me a little bit about the hunting department here at Cabela's. I'm excited to check it out some more. Looks like the uh, pheasant's coming along nicely. Yeah. Now, what is this cord here for? Is, so, this a is this a thermometer? Yes. That's great. That's an um, amazing So if feature. you're doing like a brisket, something a little bit heavy, uh, thicker meat that's going to take a while mm -hmm. um, and you're not 100% sure if it's going to be done, you can actually insert the meat probe right inside of it. You won't ever have to unplug the uh, right. or open the door um, to lose that heat while you're smoking it. That's such a great benefit because I think especially when you're smoking food, if you're used to normally cooking in the oven or the stovetop, it's a lot harder to figure out the temperature. And that's a, that's the a key. You don't yeah. want to keep coming over here and opening the door because you're going to lose all your heat and all that smoke and Absolutely. all that flavor. So. What's the point of using a smoker if you're not getting all that smoke? So we have one more um, recipe. Not a lot of people always think about doing fish in a sausage. So No, they don't. So basically what we're gonna, we do with the, with the uh, fish sausage is you have a trout, you make like a mousse almost with okay. that. So, and then I season it up with tarragon, uh, parsley. Um, I also have in there as well as uh, garlic ginger in there. Oh, and, nice. Um, then the shrimp themselves, I either, either grill or just smoke and throw, fold those into that. Wow. And, um, and do the casing. A lot of so, flavor happening in there. Yeah, so I'd like to do a good garnish for that as well. So we got <laughs> tomatoes. And I just like basically take a pan, cut the tomatoes in half. Mm -hmm. A little garlic. Mm -hmm. What's a tomato garlic. without garlic on exactly. it? Exactly. And it's a pretty simple recipe. Like, and you know what? There's a lot of different types of thyme. This mm -hmm. one's actually lemon thyme. Oh, beautiful. It comes out really well with that. And this is going to so go back gonna, into the grill? Yep. Drop it in here. About how long will that take? It usually takes about 20 minutes. Oh, so, so not too bad this, at all. Yeah, Those are gorgeous. And then this looks like. Wow, look at that. Mm -hmm. So this is just the, the trout. Nice and charred on the outside. Mm -hmm. That looks incredible. Yeah. So this is the trout and. Uh, Shrimp. Yeah, I have to say, I've never had a seafood sausage before. A lot yeah. of firsts for me today. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm digging this. Kind of like when you have them like this when you're out camping or something like that. Just serve them right in the pan and then yeah. everybody just come by and take a little bit. I love it. This is amazing. Thanks. Um, so we just put a little bit of butter in the pan uh, with some mushrooms and then uh, cook some wild rice. Mm -hmm. And we'll go ahead and actually combine these two. It's a great cast iron skillet you have too. Yep, it's our Cabela's 12 inch cast iron skillet. Nice. Um, cast iron is essential for cooking outside. Would you agree with that? Absolutely. You can put it right on a campfire. And we'll pull our pheasant out of the smoker. All right, great. And by cooking the pheasant low and slow in the smoker, that really ensures that it stays nice and moist, right? Yes. That looks incredible. All right, Patrick, what you got All for right. us next? Okay, so I got um, an Arctic char. Um, it's gorgeous. Yeah, and it's kind of, you know, if you have, you have a, like even a trout or a mm -hmm. bass or something like that. Now you like to hunt and fish and, mm -hmm. and camp and do all of right. that stuff as well, right? Oh yeah. And you too, mm -hmm. Jason, I imagine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I do a lot of um, 
saltwater fishing. Mm -hmm. um, I do like uh, bow hunting, turkey hunting. Bow hunting, that's that's quite a skill. Yeah, it's fun. It's yeah. Fun, yeah. So we're gonna do about, we do 50-50. It's kind of like a cure. Sugar. Yeah, exactly. But it's gonna be quick. Lots of dill. So with this, you know, we would leave this for about, uh, about 20 minutes or so. We want to kind of wipe it off again okay. once it's done. And we're going to actually hit this on the grill. Great. Right. Just directly on the grill grates. Yep. And we're just going to hit it on one side on the grill quickly because um, what we're going to do is we're going to actually um, then pop the skin side down mm -hmm. in a pan. Oh, so you get, get the skin crisp. nice and crispy. Yeah. Beautiful. Some smoked wow. asparagus. Look at that. And as well as smoked trout. You can just see the juice dripping off of that. And another nice thing uh, here, what I like to do, especially when we're camping and you just got a burner, you take these like, little potatoes mm -hmm. and I just cover them with salt. Nice. And the salt actually will bake them. So just like a, like a salt crusted fish. Exactly. Same idea. Mm -hmm. Nice little herbed potatoes. Oh. Love it. Arctic char in here. And what we can do here actually is we have this also stove we have going on here. Great. Add a little more olive oil because olive oil is food, it's not oil. Here. Beautiful. All right, this looks amazing, you guys. I'm ready to dig in. I don't even know where to start. I guess I'll have some pheasant. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Wow. I love the smokiness and the orange yeah. on that. Look at this Arctic char. And you can see how the meat just pulls off mm -hmm. the bones where you don't have to. Mm -hmm. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. The Arctic char is beautifully cooked. All right, let's try this seafood sausage. I'm so intrigued by this. Wow. That is so unique, but really, really delicious. Mm. And then last but not least, this duck sausage mm -hmm. with those cherries and that fennel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. I love that pop of sweetness in there. That's amazing. Patrick, you've outdone yourself. Thank you. I never thought we could do this kind of gourmet outdoor cooking, but look at this. I mean, Cabela's has everything you need to do this kind of amazing cooking and so much more. Thank you guys both for being here. This is Thank so much fun. Much. Thank you. Thanks I can't wait to me. finish this. When I get asked, well, why do you work at Cabela's? And I simply say, it, it's who I am. It's about the outdoors. It's about conservation. You know, I get to share who I am with everybody that walks in the doors. St. Luke's is very invested in the health and well-being of the community that they serve. Not feeling well? Need to see a doctor now? St. Luke's video visits 24-7. Download the St. Luke's mobile app from the App Store or Google Play Store.